The Tipal Project is located in Michoacan State, Mexico, 170 kilometers south of Guadalajara and approximately 12 kilometers from the nearby town of Tepalcatepec. The property covers an area of 13,800 hectares or approximately 172 square kilometers on flat-lying topography. Solid infrastructure is a key feature of the Tipal project with paved roads within 8 kilometers of the project, graded gravel roads to the site, power and skilled workers 14 kilometers away, railhead within a one and a half hour drive and road and rail access to Mexico's largest deep sea port providing Pacific Rim access. The current Tapal resource is hosted in three zones the North Zone, the South Zone and the Tizate Zone. Previous operators drilled 119 holes totaling 16,800 meters within the project area. This drilling was the basis for a 43101 resource estimate of 1.1 million ounces gold and 413 million pounds of copper. Upon acquisition in 2010, Geologics contracted independent engineering firm SRK Consulting to complete a preliminary economic assessment on the project. Additionally, the company launched a drill program focused on increasing the resource. The results were dramatic. In a single drill program, the company discovered a new mineralized area called the Tizate Zone and expanded both the North and South Zones. In doing so, the company was able to nearly double its resources to 800,000 ounces of gold inferred plus 800,000 ounces of gold indicated and 414.8 million pounds of copper inferred plus 311 million pounds of copper indicated. A portion of expansion drilling took place around the perimeter of the north and south zones, with stepouts ranging from 50 to 150 meters. Drilling results included 95 meters grading 1.18 grams per ton gold and 0.39% copper, open at depth, and 112.2 meters grading 0.35 grams per ton gold and 0.21% copper. Mineralization at both of these zones remains open at depth as neither has been drilled beyond approximately 200 meters and several historic holes ended in mineralization. The North Zone measures approximately 1,000 meters by 500 meters and remains open to the north and at depth. The South Zone now extends 500 meters by 500 meters and is open to the south and at depth. Geologics geophysical work identified a priority target approximately 1.5 kilometers to the east of the north and south zones. Initial drilling of the target led to the discovery of a new mineralized zone called Tizate. Results at Tizate included 112.2 meters grading 0.36 grams per ton gold and 0.22 percent copper and 98.6 meters grading 0.28 grams per ton gold and 0.23 percent copper. Results from the Tizate drilling accounted for one-third of the tons in the updated resource estimate. The Tizate zone remains open in multiple directions. As a result of the success of 2010 drilling, Geologics is optimistic about the potential to continue to grow the resource at the Tipal project. In approximately one year, the company has been able to significantly improve the project economics. According to the 2011 preliminary economic assessment, at 25,000 tons per day, life of mine ore throughput increased from 68.7 million tons to 144.5 million tons. Total recoverable metal increased from over 2 million ounces of gold equivalent to 3.48 million ounces of gold equivalent. And the net present value for the project jumped from $357 million to $412 million at a 5% discount. The latest PEA also projected increasing the mine life by 118% to 18.1 years. As a result of improved project economics, the $312 million required capital would be paid back in just 4.1 years. A combination of outstanding infrastructure, low strip ratio and favorable metallurgical recoveries make for low operating costs of just $8.05 per ton of ore processed or $478 per ounce of gold equivalent, well below the industry average. Geologics Explorations is rapidly advancing its 100% owned Tapal Gold and Copper project. 
With seven drills turning on the project as of June 2011, the company expects to continue its resource expansion efforts while converting current resources to a measured and indicated category. This will lead to a 2012 pre-feasibility study and application of permits required to move toward mine construction, planned for late 2013.